I'm Jess. And I'm Ankita. And we're from BT. So we're going to be swapping these products for the next two weeks. I can see, Ankita, you've got quite a lot of skincare, body care things. I'm really excited for this because I'm obviously a little bit makeup heavy and I know you don't really wear <laughs> that much makeup. So how are you feeling so far? I'm not going to lie, slightly nervous. Um, I've never tried a Becca product before though, so that's exciting. Great chance to try one. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I've got all the skincare stuff and hair stuff as well. So I think one of the products that I'm quite excited for you to try, it's a coconut oil hair mask basically. Um, and you can put it on um, in the shower and you just leave it on for like 10 minutes or so. But there's quite a lot in here, so you don't actually have to use the whole thing. Oh great. Um, but it's the one product that I feel like actually makes your hair super nice. Um, and like, yeah, like it's like when you wash it out, you can like instantly feel that your hair is like shinier and healthier, so oh, yeah. Awesome. And you've got amazing hair, so Thanks. I'm happy to jump on that <laughs> and try and look nearly as good. I don't normally use um, that many hair masks, so I'm quite excited to try that. Something that I think you're really gonna love yeah. is this blusher and highlighter mm -hmm. duo okay. from Lacquer and Co. I know the colour might be a little bit overwhelming yeah. but <laughs> what you can do is just pat a little bit on your okay. finger and just go at the top of your cheekbones and honestly okay. that's all the impact that can you need it? of course you can okay. it's a gorgeous color you could even pop some on your eyes if you wanted to on your lips as well try it for all of them because i've also got the powder highlight from becca which is my absolute favorite i use it every day and i know it's quite shimmery so i like so okay when i'm using this though, i don't actually know how to use highlighter so where do I put it here? Yeah, so what you could do is you could pop that like on the apples, which is here, yeah. and then have you got like a, a thickish, medium-sized brush? I've got all the brushes. You've got all the brushes. I've got all the brushes. I've got all the brushes. I just don't use them. <laughs> but now I can use them. Yeah, exactly. Now you've got a reason. So just use that with your fingers. You don't need okay. a blush, uh, brush for your blush. Okay. With this one, a medium-sized powder brush, and yeah. you can just pop that over the top okay, and just yeah. above where you pop this on the apples and you okay. can if you've got a smaller brush mm -hmm. what you could do is go underneath the arch of your eyebrows in the corners of your eyes okay. some people look amazing when they do it down the bridge of their nose and uh, up in their cupid's bow but okay. i don't i just look greasy when i do that so i just stick to my cheeks but i think you'll look amazing <laughs> because you've got great skin so i'm really excited for you to try okay. that keep watching to see how it works I'm just about to head off to work and I thought I will kickstart this and try out one of Ankita's recommendations which is the Native Unearthed Natural Deodorant Balm in Activated Charcoal and this does have a slight charcoal scent to it which I actually quite enjoy um, and I'm going to pop this on my armpits now and just see how well it does throughout the day if this is basically doing the job of my normal regular spray deodorant. I'm heading out for dinner this evening so I'm going to be trying two of the products that Jess put into my beauty swap. Um, so the first one is a Becca highlighter um, and it's in the shade Prosecco. I don't really wear highlighter so this is going to be a first for me. This is what it looks like. Um, so it's a really pretty shade and very shimmery as well. And the other product that I'm going to try is the Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. So I'm going to be trying on this one today when I go out as well. Just finished my eyes. I think I might have done them slightly different, but it's actually quite easy to use. For the highlighter, I'm just gonna use my fingers, put some on there, get a bit more, put some on here. Ooh, that's a bit much. Okay, I think that works. So I'm just about to head in the shower and the next product that I'm going to be trying that Ankita recommended is the Rituals Ritual of Sakura, I think I'm saying that right, uh, foaming shower gel and she said this smells incredible so I can't wait to try it. I have actually also just grabbed the Hask Coconut Oil Nourishing Deep Conditioner to use in place of obviously my normal conditioner just whilst I'm trying the rituals and hopping in the shower. Oh my gosh, so I've just used this in the shower along with the coconut hair mask and my word, this smells incredible. So it's got organic rice milk and cherry blossom in. Honestly, it felt like I could have been in Japan. This is wonderful. One of the products that um, Jess put into my beauty swap is the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. 
Um, so this cream is supposed to brighten your eyes and also reduce any puffiness um, under the eye. So as you can see, I've got quite bad um, dark circles, so I'm actually really excited to try this product. I'm joining you from halfway through the shower. Um, I've popped the coconut hair mask in my hair, so that needs to be left in for about 10 minutes, so leaving that in. Whilst I'm doing that, oh no, oh no, um, I am also taking the time to try out one of Ankita's other recommendations. Um, excuse me, looking like a serial killer doing this, um, which is the OK Hyaluronic Acid and Sea Kelp Hydro Gel Mask, which I've got on now. And aside from being hilarious, can you see how sparkly it is? How fun is this? I'm gonna leave this on for about 10 or 15 minutes, wash that off, go wash the hair out, and report back. Taking the OK mask off now, I've rubbed the remaining residue into my skin, so I'll let that soak in. Um, I'm really, really happy with the appearance of my skin. It's meant to plump and firm, and my skin definitely feels a lot firmer after that. So now I'm just gonna hop back in the shower, wash out the coconut hair mask, and I can't wait to see how my hair looks. This product that Jess um, put into my beauty swap is the Bumble and Bumble Primer. Um, so this is meant to just be a product that you put into your hair before you style it, it's supposed to protect it and um, Jess also mentioned that it's really good for um, detangling your hair. So my hair is a little bit damp now, I just washed it. Um, so I'm just going to try this one out and I'm also going to blow dry it because it's kind of late and I don't want to sleep with wet hair. But that's my hair all dried and kind of styled. Um, so I'm not sure if um, I totally felt the effects of the primer, but at the end of the day I guess a product that's protecting your hair is a good one. As you can see, I am ready for bed. I washed the coconut mask out in the shower just now. Um, it smelled incredible in the shower, it smells incredible now. Sniff test, yeah, honestly, if you love coconuts, you're in for a winner because it smells gorgeous. And obviously, aside from smelling great, my hair feels really, really soft now. I feel like the mask has done such a great job at repairing it, nourishing it, strengthening it, the lot. The brush, when I was blow drying it, just glided through and normally my hair gets quite knotty, so just before I go to sleep and this eye mask comes right down over my eyes, I'm gonna try out Ankita's final recommendation, which is the This Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. I am so excited to use this. It's such a cult product and such a well-loved Birchbox favorite. All you need to do with this one is just spray it onto your pillow. I like to spray it onto my eye mask as well. Um, this is a really, really lovely natural product that sort of helps you drift off a lot quicker, stay asleep, and you wake up feeling really, really refreshed could not be simpler um, and I'm actually going to demonstrate just how simple it is so one two spritz on the pillow and um, sometimes I like to do one on the bed as well and this has actually got uh, lavender vetiver and chamomile in so all of those scents combined is just a really really dreamy scent that will get you off to sleep so quick the last product um, that I'm going to be trying um, is a product from lacquer and co and it is a blush and a highlighter in one. So just using my fingers again, um, it's actually got quite a creamy texture, which is interesting. I think it's got quite, quite a nice shimmery color. My favorite um, out of all the products that you gave me to try um, was the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. Um, so it was quite thick. Um, which was really nice. Um, so I actually used it every night um, and it's not over. Um, <laughs> but it was really good because it actually feels like it's doing something overnight and when I woke up in the morning it just like, it gives like quite a, like a plump, like plump nice fresh look on your face. Exactly. Um, so yeah, that was my favourite. Oh, I'm so pleased you like it. <laughs> I wake up sometimes and I look in the mirror and I'm just like, why do I look this puffy? Like I look horrendous, <laughs> but that is so nice. It's just so refreshing, especially yeah. to use in the morning. So I'm really pleased you like that. Yeah. I love I that actually used it. I actually used it at night, like before I went to bed. Yeah, that's um, great. Yeah, and it was really good. And it smells super nice. It does. It's really <laughs> subtle, but it smells yeah. like the rest of the ginseng range, which is like orangey, yeah. but not too like sweety, foody, orangey. I don't know. It's just really nice. Yeah, it's really good.
favourite? My absolute favourite was the this one, anti <laughs> pillow spray, which we have here because there's quite a lot in it. Like I feel yeah. like this will last me ages, but honestly, this was so nice. I sprayed it obviously on my pillow, I sprayed yeah. it on my bed sheets, I sprayed it on my eye mask, I sprayed it in the room, <laughs> I sprayed it on my boyfriend when he got into bed. <laughs> I sprayed it everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. I honestly love this so much. Um, and I feel like it did help me kind of fall asleep, but stay asleep That's because good. I'm always, I always have trouble falling asleep, but mm -hmm. sometimes I wake up in the night and I feel yeah. like this really helped me um, not wake up, which was yeah. great. Um, a lot of people actually um, spray it, because like sometimes you can spray it on your pillow, but then you're kind of, unless you sleep on your side, like you won't actually get it. So a lot of people mm -hmm. actually spray it on the, top of their duvet cover mm -hmm. so then like when you put it on you you're actually like breathing it that's a good yeah. idea i didn't yeah. really think of that as being the logical thing i was just <laughs> literally going crazy spraying it but i sleep on my side so yeah, yeah. i had to let it like sink in because i yeah. sprayed it and jumped into bed and it was still a bit wet so <laughs> <laughs> had to leave it a little bit but i really love that so much oh, good yeah that's one of my favorites as well how did you get on with the becca highlighter so i'm actually wearing it right now Looks great. Um, so it's in the shade Prosecco. That's the one you gave me. Mm -hmm. um, so, not a highlighter person at all. Um, but when I wore it, I actually had a couple people like come up to me and be oh. like, oh, that looks really nice. So, <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I guess it does make a big difference. Yeah. Like, um, even if, I, I, to be honest, I don't even know if I wore it right, but I think I'm wearing it right now. You so. definitely are. Because <laughs> I, mean, I know you don't normally wear a lot of yeah. makeup. Like, you really don't have to bother with like the whole foundation and concealer if you don't want to. Yeah. But the highlighter is such a quick and easy thing to mm -hmm. do, and you can just do like the smallest amount, yeah. and it just makes your face pop. Yeah, it looks great. Oh, thanks. So yeah, that was that was probably one of my favorites as well. And then what else did I try? I tried the Bumble and Bumble um, hair primer. Mm -hmm. um, so that one was good, but although I don't know, maybe my hair is quite thick, um, and so I used it a couple times before, um, like after I washed my hair, and before I styled it. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's supposed to protect your hair, like make it quite nice. Um, I'd say my hair turned out really nice in the end, but I don't know if it's a product I would always use. Yeah. Um, but it was nice to try something different though. Yeah, great. Yeah. I quite like it just because like it kind of detangles my hair. Yeah. And I like the idea that it's got like vitamins in it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go with that. But it's just a really great detangler yeah. for me and I, I don't use a lot on my hair because like we probably do have different hair types. Yeah, my hair yeah. is so thin mm -hmm. and a bit lank sometimes, so it gives it a bit of zhuzh, but I don't, yeah. don't want to like layer my hair yeah, too fair. much. So I kind of like using that product because mm -hmm. it's sort of a like multi purpose. Mul exactly, anyway. multi purpose. Yeah, that makes sense. Does it all and I can just leave it there. That's good. What else did you try? So I really liked rituals. Yeah. Um, I've tried a lot from rituals before, and this mm -hmm. is a Sakura, 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 foaming shower gel. Um, I felt like I was in Japan with this. <laughs> I loved it. I could smell the cherry blossom. It's so good. It's really, really nice. And I like the formula of it as well because I haven't tried any other foaming shower yeah. gels. Like you sort of squeeze it and then I like watching it in my hand <laughs> like foam up. Um, so I really, really loved this. Yeah. It lasts really long as well. Like mm. I bought one. I think like months ago now and I've still got mine going. Oh, so, amazing. Yeah, it's a really good size as well. Yeah. And it's nice because you get the little ones and you can travel with them. Yeah, exactly. And you can buy them on the shop, which yes, is you great. Can. <laughs> um, and like you say about it lasting, yeah. the actual scent lasts because obviously yeah. it smells amazing in the shower. But then mm -hmm. I found when I got out the shower, like towel dried, yeah, I would yeah. give myself a little sniff <laughs> um, just to see the staying power and I can smell it. Yeah, so. you can. That was a winner for me, if I can still smell it after the shower. Yeah, my, my mum was visiting me like a couple of weeks ago and she used um, my shower gel and she was just like, where did you get this? <laughs> so yeah, I got it out of <laughs> um, And yeah, and then I tried the Ico um, eyeliner as mm -hmm. well, which is over there. Um, so I actually do use eyeliner, so I knew how to use this one. Yeah. I was I was good. And I, was, I was trying to I was trying to practice doing the little wings and everything. Didn't didn't get quite that far. But, um, but no, it was, it was a really good eyeliner. I think the one I use at the moment is the Stila eyeliner. Yeah, that was also really good. Yeah. As well. So to be honest with you, I think I think it was actually really good. And probably once my Stila one runs out, I can mm. I can get a new 
one. But yeah, it was really easy to use because it's like a pen as well. Um, I, I found in the past like the ones that are, you know the ones which have like that little brush and then you have to take it out and like draw it. Yeah, you dip it in like a the, little pot. the pot. Yeah, <laughs> I've had the ones like way back in the day where it's yeah. literally like an old school ink pen yeah. and you dip it in the <laughs> ink and then you try and do it. Like that yeah. is, this just makes it so, so much, much easier. easier. <laughs> exactly. So um, yeah, I definitely think it's very easy to use and um, and it lasts a while. The other really good thing about it is that it comes off really easily when you mm. take when you um, use your makeup remover or whatever. Because um, I I don't know maybe I'm just like really bad with taking things off. But every time I try to take my like eye makeup off, like all my eyelashes fall out. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so, so I literally am just like I hate wearing like eye makeup because. It just is a bit of a disaster. But with this one, it was actually really easy, so I didn't have to like scrub it off. Yeah. So yeah, that was really good. Oh, good. I'm glad you liked it. It's one of my like obviously liquid eyeliner. <laughs> yeah, I wear it most days. Okay. And that one lasts me forever as well. I find a lot of them tend yeah. to dry up quite yeah, quickly. Yeah. Um, but that one, I mean, I've had it for. And when they dry up, they turn like a weird like grey colour mm. when you put it on you. Which is good though, because that's how you know. Either yeah, they dry up or they run out, and yeah. that means it's time to get a new one. Ah, okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Something else that I really, really did like and I wanted yeah. to say about is yeah. the, you'll have to tell me how to pronounce it as well, but the Hask. Yeah, Hask. Hask. Yeah, Hask. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> Hask, the deep conditioner. Yeah. Um, this was so nice, and I I think seeing like a sachet, I'm like, mm. oh, I'm going to use it all, but yeah. I maybe used about between a third and a half of it, and I've got quite long hair, yeah. so amazing that I can go back to it and yeah. use it again. But it just filled the shower, obviously and used my rituals, love that <laughs> smell, used this, filled the shower with scents of coconuts, and it was just yeah. reminding me of being on summer holidays, and I really, really liked this. Um, Did you feel like your hair was any different, like in terms of like the texture, like when you washed it out? Definitely, so yeah. I, like I said before, I don't put that many products yeah. in my hair, and that's yeah. just a combination of not wanting to overload it, but yeah. also laziness. Like I just forget sometimes, <laughs> but like yeah. we do all need to give our hair treatments from mm -hmm. time to time. Um, so when I used this, I got out of the shower, I left it in my hair yeah. in a towel for about 15 minutes yeah. because I used the face mask oh, at the same okay. time. I was like, let's do a two in one <laughs> here. Um, went back in and I think leaving it in longer did help me out a bit yeah. because my hair was in need. Yeah. of it um, desperately. But that's the really nice part to be honest, you don't actually have to wear it for that long mm -hmm. and I feel like it makes quite a big difference because um, I only put it in for like 10 minutes as well Yeah. Um, and you can just tell the difference like as you're washing it out of your hair, Definitely. like it's so much softer and yeah just it's just a lot nicer. So I don't use it very often, I'd, I'd probably say I use it like twice a month, yeah. but that's also because I don't want to condition my hair too much because yeah, my, my hair um, gets quite oily so then I don't want to look like a grease ball. Um, but there are those times where you're yeah. like, okay, I need something to make my hair softer and it's, it works really well. I'd say the only thing for me though is like, because you can't use the whole thing mm. in one go, like having it in that packet can be a little bit frustrating because then you've yeah. got like a leftover bit as well. At the minute it's just sort of sat on the yeah, side. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Open. So that's, like, that's the only thing that's like a little bit frustrating. Yeah. But, um, but it's such a good product. It's something that I actually continuously keep buying oh, that's um, right. at the shop. Yeah, so I'm glad you liked it. I did really like it and I didn't think I would. Well done. I thought it was going to be a bit too much for my hair, but it honestly, like when I was blow drying it, the yeah. blush, the blush, the, the brush <laughs> just glided straight through, and like I said, my hair's really knotty when I dry yeah. it, so that was really, really nice. And how did you like the, um, the deodorant? I was really, like, apprehensive about yeah. using this, mm -hmm. just because... It's a balm. It's a balm. Yeah. Great that it's completely natural and yeah. I'm all for that it's more just like I've just been growing up with like yeah. an aerosol deodorant yeah. and I was a bit like this is weird <laughs> a, this is weird B like is this really gonna stop my pits from smelling yeah. and like I didn't wear anything other than this all yeah. day so I was a little bit like I really hope I don't smell um I did originally want to see if I could go the whole day yeah. but I was I brought it with me in the end yeah. I was like I'm just gonna top this up just because <laughs> I was really really skeptical yeah.